Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Hey Max, hey Dad, another day in paradise, right? Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl, was that really Rachel Amber? Smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait, what? Who? What photo? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. I used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. FM, the Seder, I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Literally any amount. We'll take it. I really should get going. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. 
Maybe I should dye my hair gray. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? They should take that down to Mom. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. 
How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. I was sleeping. I didn't get your text until just now. Oh, you make it so hard to trust you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate he him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad. Your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? 
This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should, too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Crap. I forgot David's keys. That's probably worth at least 10 push-ups. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room from when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom has it's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so here they are. I made that for my... Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This used to hang in the living room. 
guess it's ancient history now. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pot. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I Please. want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is, fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You can't threaten me. You know how I know? Because you just tried, and fuck you. I can crap bigger than you. Just remember that. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. Leave Mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. Look, now, in this house, I have my job to do, and so do you. Have you considered telecommuting? I feel like you could keep us safer from Florida. If you were a man, I. It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. 